everyone uh, today i'm back again with the uh, tutorial on uh, cisco packet tracer and today we are going to uh, learn about uh, dynamic host configuration protocol also known as dhcp so in my previous video uh, videos as uh, you have already seen that we have assigned ip addresses manually for each system for each device we have um, added to our network we have given it a ip address by ourselves by typing so the dynamic host configuration protocol basically its purpose uh, is to assign ip addresses automatically we just give have to give certain uh, ranges and subnet mask and the remaining uh, task is done by dhcp so say we have uh, thousands of computers on our system so we just configure dhcp and we follow some simple steps and uh, ip addresses are automatically assigned to the systems so let's start for that purpose uh, first i'm going to um, add uh, some um, a uh, router uh, which is this 2811 router then i'm going to add two switches uh, i will click this switch and i will select this 2950 switch so i'm going to add twist two switches these two and then i'm going to go here to the end devices and in the end devices i'm going to add uh, this laptop you can actually add a system or anything you want so i'm just randomly adding uh, these um, this is a system and then i'm going to add a laptop to it any device you can add so the next step as you know is that we have to connect the de these uh, devices and i'm going to select this copper straight through cable Uh, from click this laptop fast ethernet 0 then take it to the switch select fast ethernet 0 slash 1 then again go to the connections select copper straight through from laptop to the select fast ethernet 0 to the switch select any interface again select copper straight through from this pc fast ethernet 0 to the second switch 0 slash 1 again copper straight through from this laptop to our switch select any interface i'm selecting 0/2 in the same way we are going to connect copper straight through from our switch select any interface to our router select 0/0 then i'm going to click this one straight through from our switch select any available interface to our router and here i'm going to select 0/1 so this left uh, switch switch 2 is connected to router on interface 0/0 and this particular switch switch 3 is connected to this router on interface z 1/1 uh, okay 0/1 and 1/1 uh basic network setup is done we are going to configure dhcp for that we are going to click our router and inside the router i am going to be going to the config tab and i'm going to press um enter here sorry the cli tab and i am going to press enter here first of all the first command uh, here i am simply going to um uh, assign a, a ip addresses i am going to give a certain range of ip addresses and subnet mask and then in the next step i am going to enable dhcp so the first step is of uh, allocating ip addresses and then the next step is enabling dhcp so um the first command uh, that i am going to give is you you have to um enter the router configuration um mode so for that you will press n e n after typing e n press enter now type conf space t press enter you can see that for here we only had router now we have config t so after that what we are going to do we are going to configure the interface one by one so i am going to write first of all i am going to configure the interface 0 slash 0 with which our left one first one switch is connected so i will write int space fa 0 slash 0 the name of the interface now i am going to press enter and now it has entered the interface 0 uh, slash 0 now i am going to give the command ip address uh, the then the available ip address whatever it is so for interface 0 slash 0 i will give uh, dot 0 dot 1 this is the ip address uh, and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 it will tell that how many ip addresses uh, we can use uh, for this particular um, uh, ip address and this particular subnetwork so i am going to press enter that uh, i have done after that i have to give this command no shut 
down this has to be given and then finally when I give a no shutdown command, it will change the state of our uh, fast Ethernet interface 0 slash 0 to up. That is, it will uh, turn on our router and assign these IP addresses. And finally, we have to save this configuration by giving the command uh, do write memory. Press enter. So building configuration, it has been done. So in the next step, what we are going to do is for this same interface, we are um, going to uh, enable DHCP. So to enable DHCP, what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to type IP DHCP pool net one. So uh, if this is your first uh, pool of um, IP addresses for the, which you are signing DHCP, you will give net one. It is any name you can give. I have given net one. Uh, the another for another pool of IP addresses for another switch or another network, I'm going to type net two or any name, not the same name. Press enter. And here again, we are going to give the range of IP addresses that we want to give by giving the command network, network, space, the same IP addresses as I have given previously, 192.168.0.1 and the subnet mask.0. Press enter. So you are done with this interface. I'm going to press exit here. After assigning all these IP addresses, we are going to close this and as you can see that the interface between this router and switch is already up. It, is, it has turned gre uh, green. So we have uh, to now configure this part of our router. So for that, this interface is 0 slash 1. So we are going to go to the router and now we are going to configure our another interface. So uh, we are already inside uh, the configuration. Um, but uh, if you uh, are opening uh, for the first time, you have to give en conf t. But as I'm already inside um, this configuration, now I have to give int space fa 0 slash 1. First I gave 0 slash 0. Now I'm going to configure the interface 0 slash 1. Press enter. Here I'm going to give again the same command IP address space 192.168 but this time I'm going to give a different IP address. I'm going to give 1.1 .1. and then the subnet mask you have to give a space and then the subnet mask dot 0. Press enter. Okay sorry I gave uh, the wrong spelling press enter. It is done. Now I'm going to give no shutdown so that uh, the state of my interface, the interface of this uh, router 0 slash 1 is changed to up. The change state, uh, state is changed to up. Then I'm going to write this to memory so that this is safe. Do write memory. Press enter. It is already done. Now we are going to configure DHCP. So for that purpose I'm going to write IP space DHCP space pool and I am going to give it the name of net2 as you can see the first um, the interface for 0 slash 0 I have given it name net2 now I'm going to give it name net2 first was net1 and now I'm going to give network I'm going to tell about the IP addresses that uh, the DHCP uh, dynamic host configuration protocol is going to use dot one this time it's not zero dot one it's one dot one then the same subnet mask to tell the number of addresses that can be used press enter so again this is also done you can exit from here okay again if you exit we are going outside the configuration mode so let's go out and check again you can see this interface or this link is also up now as the last step what I'm going to do is uh, I actually have to tell these systems, these PCs that are connected to this router via different interfaces about how to um, assign IP addresses. So I'm simply going to click this uh, laptop. Here I'm going to go to the desktop inside IP configuration. So first what we used to do, we used to type IP addresses here, right here, whatever IP addresses we want to give. Instead of typing I'm going to click DHCP. 
it is requesting IP addresses and you can see that it is automatically assigned the IP address 192.168.0.2 why because to the interface 0 slash 0 I gave um, the range 192.168.0.1 so it's automatically selected this IP addresses and um, the subnet mask that's it again go to this laptop mm, go to desktop IP configuration again instead of static I'm going to click DHCP so it has automatically selected the IP address the next available IP address that is 192.168.0.3 we don't have to give it we don't have to keep in mind which was assigned which the next IP address should be and so on so uh, here for the next um, switch or the next interface click this system or the desktop go to desktop IP configuration select DHCP here it is requesting IP address request successful now it has chosen 192.168.1.2 because the DHCP and the IP address are given here was 1.0 so it is selecting one the next available IP address and the subnet mask is given automatically the one I gave click this laptop desktop IP configuration DHCP it is requesting the IP address and you can see that it is automatically given 1.3 so if you go on adding uh, PCs to this um, interface and also to this interface so it is going to automatically assign them IP addresses the next available so this is how you configure DHCP um, on um, the systems in the network so I hope it would be helpful for you I'll see you next time bye